Hi people, welcome back to Charlie and me, our camping vlog. We are on our holiday tour 2023, currently at Eco Beach, Clifton Eco Beach Caravan and Camping Park. What a beautiful campsite. I've said it before, I'd say it again. It's Deirdre's favourite campsite. This one and Renville, which is just up the road, were always neck and neck, but it's official. This is the longest I have ever stayed on a campsite. Three nights is normally good enough for me. Today is Monday. We are here since Wednesday morning and it's been fantastic. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, most of a bit of Saturday, fantastic weather, but then the weather changed Saturday evening. All day Sunday was dull. Today, Monday, I've actually got jeans on uh, out of the shorts for the first time since we left home. We are making our way towards Ackle Island. Now we've done Island, we've done Ackle Island before, but it was seal seal caves and it's the most watched video on the channel for some strange reason but we have stayed even with charlie but before charlie me on keel sandy banks and that's where we are heading today it's two hours and seven minutes 119 kilometers from here now we're not ready deirdre's there just checking the map because she likes to do that charlie's just lying here he's not even harnessed up yet uh, we'll show you the road footage a bit of the way we're traveling on the n59 i think it is it's good road from here basically twackle so we'll definitely show you when we get onto the island and we'll speed it up so there's no point in skipping the road footage here just watch it'll be about two two and a half minutes and then you'll see the entrance into the campsite now the campsite has been taken over it's owned by the county council and it's under new management i think since the end of last season so the new management team getting great reports from it it is a great campsite as i said we have stayed there before but we've never reviewed it so looking forward to it. no skipping of the road footage in the next time we talk to you we'll be in county Mayo on Ackle Island. made it to Keel Sandy Banks Caravan and Camping Park on the island of Ackle, Ackle Island. As I said before, myself and Deirdre have been here, even with Charlie, but it was long before the Charlie and me days. Um, let me turn the camera. It's busy enough for the, I think we're on the 11th or 12th of June. Hang on, let's just turn the camera. I will take a walk around and I will get the drone up, but that's reception area when you come in there. There's also a toilet block there and a meeting room. There is a toilet block here. And we're waiting for this pitch here because that couple, that chap came over and said hello to us at reception. Just as we were talking to Lisa, the owner of here, and he said, love the videos. And then when we went to get our grey water, there are PowerPoints everywhere here. Um, behind this toilet block here, if you drive in, you actually enter it from this end here. You can drive in and there's three or four water taps. That's where you get rid of your grey water, your chemical. But I will show all that to you later. But while I was filling up, that chap came over and was chatting to Deirdre with the kids and Deirdre and Charlie and said, we're going in a minute. And Deirdre said, that's the pitch I want. So we're here. They're packing up and Deirdre's over there walking Charlie. 
and as soon as they're gone we're going to pull in there and then we'll have a chat with you we will get the drone up later on because we have permission but the weather has picked up fabulous and this is a fabulous campsite <music> So this is the toilet block ladies and gents toilets showers are on this end showers are one euro for five minutes and they are tokens which are available at reception as you make your way in the gate on the gate it's red plate red so from the other end of this building sorry you come in here this is the gray water black water and fresh water and bins so your gray water obviously goes in there there's a tap on that side in case your tap is on the left or right of your van and there are two taps there one there and one just past the bin storage area um segregate your glass your bottles chemical toilet emptying in there and then standard bins and again bottle bins here as well and another tap there and there there are grass pitches there are hard stand pitches most of the pit no all of the pitches have electric but only the pitches down that end have electric and water and i'll show them to you in a couple of minutes you would have seen it from the drone footage it is a very big campsite i think lisa said 170 pitches campers kitchen by the way is there and it's a fine size campers kitchen these picnic tables are scattered throughout the campsite you can see that we're parked over there the car fits onto the pitch as well i could even pull up another little bit and there would be plenty of room you have seating along here at the toilets look at the views the sea is on that side and then you've got views like this again you would have seen it from the drone footage right let's make our way down towards the entrance and i'll show you some of the pitches as we make our way come on charlie <laughs> So 
the main entrance is there. You give your edge plate to your camper van or your tow vehicle. And it's red as you make your way out. You come in very, very slowly and the gate opens. The beach is literally just there. I'm going to take you out to the beach, but I don't want to go out with Charlie because it's pretty busy at the minute. But I will take you out to the beach and again, you would have seen it from the drone footage. Beside the main office, which is there, you have toilets, showers, recreation. There's fresh water there. These pitches, these hard sands all have fresh water. I think they were statics like that one that's there. And now they've been cleared off as touring pitches, but they all have electric and fresh water on them. And there's plenty of them. The shop also has, um, the reception area has a small shop where they sell ice creams, camping gas, toilet fluid and stuff like that. So I was just talking to the gang at reception and if you see there are three caravans just literally there in front of us, they are actually available to rent, but you do it through the website. All the contact details will come up at the end of this video. You will get the contact details and you can find out about rates. And I'm not going to go talking about rates now because a couple of weeks ago on a video, I mentioned the rates, which had obviously since changed since that video was recorded. And somebody said, your rates are all wrong in the video. So I'm not going to mention rates anymore because if you're watching this in a year, chances are the rates will have gone up. So what I will do is put a link to the website and on the website, the terms, conditions and new rates will be there. But I think it's about 30 quid a night. Anyway, the rates will come up at the end. There'll be a link to their website. Let's continue this little walk and make our way back to our van. There's one of the gates actually. Yeah, hang on. I'll just turn this camera around for a second and I'll show you. There are different entry points out onto the beach. So I'll just show you them now. So there's a, an entry exit out onto the beach. Now, the beautiful thing is when you make your way back in from your surfing, your windsurfing, your surfing, surfing, or your swimming, there are showers at the gates to wash down your feet or your wetsuits. So you're not going to be dragging your sandy bodies into the shower block. So use these showers when you make your way in. They do ask you to close the gates because there are wild sheep walking around here. And that's not, that's why I'm not going to bring Charlie out now, but they do ask you to keep these gates closed to stop the sheep from coming in. But when you come in, there is a shower there just to rinse off your wetsuit or rinse the sand off your feet. There are plenty of surfing schools and surfboards available. I see one there, Ackill Outdoor. Then there's the Surf Coach up there. Surf Le Thomas is up there. There are plenty of surf schools and lifeguard hut is there. Plenty of availability to take surfing lessons. There's usually an ice cream van here. There are wild campers parked over there. I don't know if they're allowed to stay there at night or anything, but why would you when you have these facilities here? I was saying back there was I forgot to turn on the microphone there is another shower outlet there as you make your way in it's a dog friendly campsite keep your dogs on leads and clean up after your dog and the tents tend to be pitched over against the wall the fencing over there but they do take tents caravans camper vans and motorhomes and then we're back to our pitch here which as I says a fine size pitch I mean there's a small caravan and a car on the pitch It used to be known as Keel Sandy Banks. It's now just Keel Camping and you'll get it at keelcamping.ie but all the details will come up at the end of the video. I'm not going to give you the rates because as I said earlier on, again, you're watching this video, it could be out of date. So just click on the website and their updated details will be there. They're also available on Instagram and Facebook. As you've seen from the drone footage, it's a big place. I think they said 170 pitches between hard stands and tent pitches, electrical points everywhere, quite a lot of water points, especially at the back of the building where I showed you on the footage, whether your water is on the right or left intake on your van, there's plenty of hoses and taps in there 
recycle dogs keep them on leads and scoop the poop you've seen where the beach is again if you have dogs just be wary there are wild sheep all over this place and keep the gates closed and that keeps the sheep out of the main campsite at reception there's a little shop that does ice creams and their own merchandise if you want to get t-shirts and hoodies and stuff like that uh, again details are on the website we are heading to lockery east after here for the end of our holiday i think today is monday we're here until thursday and then head to lockery east which we will do another review as part of our holidays the last time we were there the clutch went on the b-ball this time hopefully all will go well it's 25 past seven i just want to interrupt <laughs> interject into this video uh, for those of you, like us, that are dog lovers and travel with your dogs, there are a few notices to be aware of regarding the beaches here on Ackill. For example, both here at Keel, Sandy Banks, and at Keem, dogs are prohibited from the blue flag area of the beach June to September between 12 p.m. and 6.30. So from midday until 6 in the evening, every evening from June to September, dogs are not allowed on the beach in this area or any bathing area we had noticed this today when we came out for a walk so i just said we're at the down at keem as well we went for a drive and we went to keem and we just noticed the same thing the safety notices for swimming and riptides and then also the notice about dogs so june to september from 12 midday till i think it's it was at 6 30 or thereabouts yeah 6 30 no dogs allowed on the beaches so i just thought i'd slip in here and tell you that and now let's go back to the wrap-up of the video another interjection before i go back to me to do the uh i gotta just change hands before i go back to me to do the wrap-up things to do around here surf swim cycle walk relax you've got kite surfing you've got ordinary surfing you've got stand-up paddle boards in fact there's a lake just across the road from the campsite where they do a lot of paddle boarding and kayaking and there's classes and just out here where we are there all those little units out there are all surf shacks and the outdoor Ackle outdoor and Billy surf school and the surf coach lots and lots and lots of surf schools and stuff like that so um yeah that's what you do here and you just relax i mean you relax in this campsite it is now 10 past eight in the morning and it's myself and your man and look i just met a chap from tipperary actually who uh follows the channel we met him yesterday but he was just out walking this morning and all i can hear is the sea and there it is there so that's what you do there's walks there's cycles just relax there's a new bar opening on the island but it uh, seemingly at the moment it's only open Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday there's a couple of takeaways one of them is for sale so you might have to drive we've got to go off and get some petrol today anyway now I'm gonna go back to me doing the wrap-up which was yesterday well Deirdre's over there enjoying the sun from me and Charlie Brown thank you for following us can I remind you you don't have to but if you want to subscribe to the channel and if you click on that bell every time we upload a video you'll get a notification and on Wednesdays the camping crew podcast wherever you listen to your podcast just search for the camping crew of myself and Chris and we keep you updated with what's going on everything to do about camping on the podcast and if you want some of our merch we've got mugs and t-shirts it's Charlie and me Dot IE. Again, from Charlie Brown, from me, Aaron. Stay safe. And remember, if you see us on a campsite, call over and say hi. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>